okay we were doing kinematics and emotion in a straight line now we have some examples related to these concepts this is example 1 and uh, in this example a particle p is being released from point o and the distance between point o and point a is 1.25 meters first of all we need to find the speed of the particle at point a and the time taken to uh, the time taken for the particle to reach at point a okay it is given that the initial velocity of this particle is zero initial velocity is zero and we need to find final velocity and because this particle is coming downward so the gravitational acceleration will be 10 meter per second square and the distance between uh, point of release and point a is 1.25 meters this is 1.25 meters we know uh, the equation of motion third equation of motion we know that 2g as is equal to v square minus u square and uh, we know that the value of g is s it is 1 point the distance is 1.25 and the initial velocity is zero so we can find the value of v using this expression and that will become let me calculate this that will become 2 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1.25. This will be 5 meter per second. So, the velocity of the body at A is 5 meter per second. And then we need to find the time taken uh, for, for the time taken to reach at point A. Again, we know that uh, we have an equation B is equal to u plus dt you know that the final velocity is 5 initial velocity is 0 and the value of g is 10 so we will have time is equal to 0.5 seconds the time is 0.5 second this was first part the solution of first part of this problem now uh, after passing point a it is given that the acceleration of this particle is 10 minus 0.33 meter per second square we need to find the total distance the particle has fallen 3 seconds after release from o at this point o the time is zero the time is starting at this point and we need to find the distance after 3 second because this particle is coming downward so how much distance this particle will cover after 3 seconds we need to find in this part so let's start the solution of this part part 2 okay in first part we have calculated the time to reach at a this is this was 0.5 seconds the particle took 0.5 second from point o till point a and we need to find the distance covered by the particle 3 seconds after release so we know that during 0.5 seconds this particle has covered 1.25 meters now we need to calculate uh, the distance after 3 seconds so we are supposed to find the distance during next 2.5 seconds because we know that uh, this particle has covered 1.25 meter in 0.5 seconds so we need to find the distance during next 2.5 seconds our time is 2.5 seconds 2.5 plus 0.5 that will become 3 seconds and we need to find the distance of 3 sec after 3 seconds okay we know uh, in our last video i have told you that how to have an expression for velocity and for displacement using any expression using the expression for acceleration we know that acceleration is equal to 10 minus 0.3 t and if we integrate this expression with respect to time if we integrate this uh, this expression with respect to time we will have an expression for velocity so our velocity 
can find the velocity using this expression that will be 10 p minus 0 0.3 to 0 0.15 0 0.15 t squared plus c this is an expression for velocity we know that at this point at this point the time is zero and the velocity was five meter per second at this point now why did i say that time is zero at this point because this function this particular function is starting from point a this function doesn't have any relation with the movement of particle before point a this function will work after point a so when the function is starting the point is point a and at this point the time for this function is zero so at point a at point a time is zero and uh, velocity is five meter per second we know that the velocity is five meter per second at point a we have calculated in first part so if we substitute t is equal to zero and v is equal to five we will have the value of c which is equal to five so c will become five so this is an expression for velocity of this particle but we don't uh, want to find velocity we need to find the displacement the total distance so again we need to integrate this if we integrate this with respect to the time we will have displacement we will have displacement and uh, this will become 5t square this will become 5t square and uh, that will become 0.05 5 t cube plus 5 t plus c now again we need to find the value of constant okay because this function is starting at point a so when this function is uh, when this function started the value of uh, x was zero at this point the displacement for this particle was zero so at t is equal to zero at t is equal to zero x is also zero so the value of x will become the value of c will become zero so at the end we will have this function for the displacement of this particle and we know that uh, we need to find the distance covered by the body during next 2.5 seconds we know the distance during first 0 0.5 second is 1.25 so if you if we substitute the t is equal to 2.5 we will have the distance of this particle so that will become 42.9 meters now this is the displacement during these 2.5 seconds so the total distance will be 1.25 during 0 0.5 seconds plus 42.9 during next 2.5 seconds so that will become uh, 44.2 meters that will be the distance covered by this body three seconds after being released from point o now we will move to next example okay the velocity time graph of a uh, moment of motion of a particle is given and uh, let me mark this this is let's suppose this is point zero a b and c now it is given it is given that uh, the distance OA and BC, these two are straight lines. 
ए सी एंड बी सी आर स्टेट लाइन्स एंड एट टेन सेकेंड्स द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल वॉज थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड एंड थर्टी सेकेंड्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स आफ्टर पॉइंट ए द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बॉडी वॉज फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड वी नीड टू फाइंड मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल पी एंड वी हैव अ फंक्शन ऑफ वेलॉसिटी वी इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टी स्क्वेयर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टी माइनस वन एंड दिस फंक्शन वर्कस ओनली बिटवीन दिस इंटरवल द इंटरवल बिटवीन टेन सेकेंड्स एंड थर्टी सेकेंड्स we can we can see the graph the velocity time graph of uh, movement of this particle between point a and point b so the velocity of the particle between point a and point b between 10 seconds and 30 seconds is represented by this function we need to find maximum velocity of this body okay we know uh, that the maximum velocity at maximum velocity acceleration is always zero because uh, this is solution of r okay look at this graph okay before this point the velocity is increasing we can see velocity is increasing and after this point velocity is in is decreasing so acceleration is positive during this half because velocity is increasing and acceleration will become negative at this half because acceleration at the velocity is decreasing we know that uh, if velocity is increasing acceleration is positive and if velocity is decreasing acceleration is negative but what about this particular point at this point velocity is neither increasing nor decreasing it means that at this point velocity is maximum before this point it was increasing and after this point it is decreasing so at this point velocity is maximum so we can see that at maximum velocity velocity is not changing and if velocity is not changing acceleration is zero so if we need to find maximum velocity we need to find we need to find the acceleration the expression for acceleration and then we need to put acceleration is equal to 0 we will have the time at which the velocity will be maximum so first of all we will differentiate the function of velocity to get the acceleration we know that acceleration is the derivative of this function 0.01 t square plus 0.5 t minus 1 so if we differentiate this we will have uh, 0.01 okay, minus 0.02 acceleration will be minus 0.02 t plus 0.5 that will be the expression for acceleration because we need to find maximum velocity and when velocity is maximum acceleration is always zero so if we substitute a is equal to zero we will have a value of t which is equal to 25 seconds. so at 25th second the velocity will be maximum at this point at this point velocity is maximum and this time is 25 so when we substitute t is equal to 25 in the function of velocity we will have uh, minus 0.01 into 25 square plus uh, 0.5 into 25 minus 1 so the velocity will be 5.25 meter per second this will be the maximum velocity of this particle okay up next we need to find the distance between the distance ab the total distance covered by the body we need to find this is point o and this is point c we need to find the distance oc the total distance covered by the body okay and uh, we know that uh, if we calculate 
area under velocity time graph we can find uh, the distance covered by the body so we will find area of uh, this graph so that will give us the distance covered by the body first of all we need to find the distance covered by the body from point a till point b and we know that uh, if we integrate this function from a from 10 to 30 we will have the distance covered by the body from 10 till 30 so we have a distance from 10 till 30 that will be the integration of this function from uh, Okay, this definite integral will give the distance of this particle from 10 second till 30th second. Okay, uh, we can also calculate this expression using calculator. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, the integral of this will be minus 0 0.01 over 3 into t cube plus 0 0.5 over square minus the, this will be t okay so if we substitute these values we will have uh, 93.3 meters this is the distance between 10 second till 30 second and uh, if we calculate the total distance the distance uh, during first 10 seconds that will be the area of uh, triangle O C E so that will become 1 over 2 into 10 into 3 plus the area of triangle uh, the last triangle that will be 1 over 2 into 50 into 5 plus the area uh, the distance between 10 to 38 seconds that will be 93.3 we have just calculated this we have total distance uh, will be equal to 233.3 meters okay this is the distance of this particle